Welcome back to Combat Mission Cold War, A False Hope. On turn six, on the left, my green troops continue to advance through the wheat field. At worst, CC is getting limited spotting information. The plan at this point is to sprint from the field into this depression and then advance through the trees with mortars clearing the way. But a Soviet spotting round lands here at the end of turn six. This is another one of those good and bad things. It's good because that means even less points spent on infantry and grenade launcher teams. It's bad because he is either targeting the wheat field ridgeline or targeting the trees themselves. And either way, that artillery, combined with the tanks sitting in an overwatch, will be too costly for my men to go through those trees on the left. So the new plan is for Aguero's second platoon to spearhead the attack down the road and 1st Platoon A Company starts shifting behind cover towards the middle. However, it is key that CC doesn't realize yet that I'm shifting to the middle, so I continue to press infantry forward through the wheat field on my left. Back to the action, which, granted, isn't that much action, but in the middle, Lieutenant Aguayo's platoon makes it to the first house without contacts. The slight ridge on the left of the road gives me good cover from CC's tanks, so I bring up a 50 cal to this point. The 50 cal gunner eats a long range bullet, so I need to remember to bring up the rest of my troops on the other side of the house to actually use the protection of the ridge. Crossing the road might be dangerous, but if I can do that, I should be able to get into this depression here and set up a decent fire base. That is definitely the next step in the middle. On my right ridge, a dragon team has crawled into place with line of sight to two of the T-64s, but in my short time playing Cold War, I have hit way too many trees to risk a shot like this. Eventually, CC will have to adjust his armor towards the center, so I will wait for a better shot. On the far right, where one light machine gun team crossed into CC's woods, a Soviet tank tries to hit my troops with HE, but the ridge saves them, and CC doesn't try again on turn 7 or turn 8. However, the Soviets in the foxhole causes another casualty to my team, so I order direct fire mortar strike. During force selection, I increase this mortar team's experience to crack because the accuracy difference is significant. The result is two mortars land right on top of the foxholes. On turn eight, the platoon headquarters throws a couple smoke grenades, and then another light machine gun team crosses the open ground, this time without casualties. Orders for turn nine. On the left, I will be sending troops past the wheat field. They are going to get pulverized, but it has to be done to keep those tanks on my left from moving. In the middle, I will be throwing smoke on the road so my infantry can cross. And on the right, I'm going to try to get into grenade range of those sandbags. My five AFVs will continue to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> 